at SEMA Day 1, we've got the Freak, the Super Mark IV Tribute Car, as well as the 350Z on display here at the show, and we're going to be unveiling our new project car. So let's get into it. What's up everybody? Today is an exciting day. Our Freak is finally going off the MagnaFlow for its final exhaust system. As you guys know, if you've watched the build up of this car, we essentially built our own exhaust. That's something I've always wanted to do on my own. So we did that. But our friends at MagnaFlow came down, checked out the car because they really love the passion that was put into this build and they want to get involved. So we're going to send the car up to them in Oceanside, California, where they're going to remove the exhaust system that we built and they're going to actually build a far superior setup because after all, that's what they do and they do it really well. One of the things I want to accomplish with this exhaust is I want it to exit where the factory exhaust would have exited. Right now we've just got a dump underneath and it works but it's not great. We're gonna leave it to the experts at MagnaFlow. They're gonna whip up a really 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 nice exhaust system for the Freak and I'm excited so we're gonna go ahead and get it up there and get started. Exhaust looks sick. This is my first time seeing it. Wow, I can't believe they were able to squeeze it above the upper control arm. I didn't think it was possible. Still hangs down pretty low, but I think it looks awesome. It makes it look so much more like a regular car with the exhaust exiting out the back. I can't wait to hear it. baby girl. That's so cool. How rad. What do we think, Quinn? I want to see it up on the rack. Yeah. This was probably like the most challenging exhaust system I think like we've looked at. So we just like, we made no provision for it to come through. So this was a yeah. bit of an afterthought for sure. We stuffed a lot of stuff underneath the rear end of this car that's not supposed to be here, so. Yeah. Oh, they did, they did squish it down. So everything's V-banded. Oh, so they put a resonator on it too. They did, yeah, I see that. How cool, man. Yeah, this is sick. This is exactly the look I was after too. I just wish I had time to heat wrap it. Yeah. All right, we're on the street. Evan just went and picked up a new car. Any guesses? Yep. Yep. Oh, you already know what it is. We already know what it is, dog. Oh, we all know? We Quinn, all do you know? know? It's a Lamborghini. A Lambo? A Lambo? It's a new sweepstakes car, that's what I know. Ooh. I know what it's not. It's not a BMW. All right, what color? If you think you know. Oh, uh, I hope it's white. I'm it's going. Not, it's not white, I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gray. going gray. Do they even Silver. make that car in gray? Silver. I don't know. They do. We're talking they silver. do. They must. They, they make must it in make gray. It in they don't make it in silver. They probably do. If he doesn't do a rev match downshift coming into the apron, it's Evan. What you he mean? might as well go back. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it oh, is. Yeah. Oh, it's a forklift. Okay, we got a forklift. We got a forklift for the sweepstakes. Is it a GTI? 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 Sorry, no, it's not. It's not a GTI. Hey, there he is. Hey. There he is. Did he rev match? Oh! Hey! Now we're talking. Hey, with the red wing, dude. Holy! And the red seats. Oh, yeah. Red accents oh, everywhere. Go. <laughs> Relax. <Where> are you <laughs> Check it out, 2020 Type R. It's pretty oh, rad. Dude. dude, this thing's sick. Dude, there's so much red. Like all the accents, like on the on the back, on the sides, on the, the skirt being carbon is pretty cool. That's yeah, a nice it's touch. Not it's not plastic. It's plastic they carbon. They fooled you, Quinn. 
His vent's pretty cool. Yeah, that that's what I love about them. Is you slam them and put them on a good offset wheel, the and they look awesome. aggressive. Yeah. With the vents front and rear. The seats are sick. Look at those seats, dude. It's How's good. How's it's it drive? How's it was drive? like an hour drive or so. It's really good. Compared to anything else like in this category, I would say this is the one for sure. Seats are awesome. Interior's got a lot of nice suede and stuff like that. The only thing I don't know if I love is the suede on the steering wheel. This is a used car. It's got about maybe 20,000 miles. Looks a little bit worn, but it feels great. The shifter is awesome. Gearbox is really, really good. Honestly, car is really cool. It's oh, really fun. Yo, check out the two-piece rotors, bro. The Look. brakes are <laughs> freaking awesome. That's sick. From factory. That's, That's freaking sick. That's sick. Pretty it does impressed. not feel like a Civic. Pretty impressed. Oh, this. Yeah, I do like the Sway steering wheel. Oh, Why wouldn't you like it? Oh, the shifts are sick. How's the seat feel? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. How can me for that? The seats good. look really cool. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. It's in the R mode. This one. Oh, oh, we need an aggressor. Now, now you're in plus R. Still oh, that still doesn't rev up. In yeah, but that's. Um, it's like launch control. It's, Hold it's, it down. <laughs> <laughs> I have the door Can wide open. The clutch. <laughs> Just ram it right got a yeah. nice wing back here. Yeah, I got a wing. Got a wing, wing. You know what I didn't check out? <laughs> we got somebody in the back yeah, seat. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I'm happy with it. I've wanted one of these for a while for myself, but being able to build one as a sweepstakes is even cooler because we can try out a bunch of new parts. And being honest, I already spec'd this out like with Evan probably what a year ago now. Yeah, we almost did it. We almost did this car a long time ago and then we shelved it. So we've already got the spec list kind of already built for this car. We have a lot, a lot on the way because I yeah. already placed the orders for pretty much everything. So a bunch of stuff. I don't know if it's going to be right in now. this video or the next video, but this is the throttle and Hoonigan Q4 giveaway. So it's live right now actually every dollar you spend on our website whether you're buying car parts or merchandise gives you one automatic entry to win so check out the link in the video description get those entries in this one's gonna be fun look at this little jammer right here huh? can't, can't see my cargo now now you see me now you don't Dang. don't worry that's going away Quinn turbo right here baby Earth dreams, baby. Earth dreams. Earth dreams. Let's go. Gotta love Japan. Comparing this to the STI, this is so much better. It is basically the same price. It's a way better car. Maybe yeah. a Honda boy now, Clint. I don't you know. About, I don't know about. I don't know about a Honda boy. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so this is my buddy Eric from Steel Driven Auto Detail. He is a mobile waterless detailer. He has done a few of our cars. He's been to my house on one of my cars personally. He's a great guy, super awesome work, man. Thank you so much. We called him last minute. He was able to show up. He's going to detail the freak for us. And then from here, this thing's got to go to Magnaflow because it's going to go straight to SEMA. We're going to pop his Instagram right here on the screen so you can check him out there. So Eric just got done detailing this thing and it looks amazing. It looks like I just came out of the showroom floor. Super shiny, super clean. What needs to be matte stays matte, but clean, you can tell it's really clean. This thing was really dusty. Went to the track, brought it out, then it went to back and flow, and we never washed this. I know he had his hand full, and, but man, you did a great job, dude. Thanks a lot, brother. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, well, we're inside the SEMA Central Hall. There are many halls here, but this is the one that has the Magnaflow booth, and that's where the Freak is uh, positioned. And we're gonna head over and check it out now. Really excited. This is a big, big opportunity for Throttle and for me, because this is a vision of a project that I've had for like 10 years. And Magnaflow liked it so much that they wanted to have it in their SEMA booth. So that's pretty freaking cool. It was never the intention of this build. Let's head on over and check it out. There it is. I can't help but be looking at that though. Holy crap. The car next to it? I mean, that thing's insane. Look at it. But the freak, woo. 
Finally made it to the SEMA show. Man, this is like, sorry, I a little choked up at the moment. This is really cool, man. For MagnaFlow to put us here, it's so neat. Makes me want to try harder next time, build something even cooler. <laughs> anyway, you guys have all seen the freak a million times, but let's take a quick walk around and show you guys. They've already pulled the, uh, they've already pulled the hood off, it looks like. So as you can see, our K20 turbo is in here sideways, and that can only mean one thing, that it's rear wheel drive. I just wonder if people will actually notice or not. You think people will notice? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. It's like they rolled the window down so people can see inside. That's pretty cool. Car's looking good. I do need to take this off. This isn't supposed to be on here. Oh, you got the wheel cover? Yeah, the wheel cover is still on to keep the wheel from greasy fingers. <laughs> I mean, come on. I almost kind of want to open the trunk too for people to look at, but. Can I open those? Yeah. They've all seen it before. But who doesn't want to see that beautiful piece of machine right there? Right there? And every time I look at it, I'm super excited about how clean it turned out. So tidy in here. Man, we really need to get this thing back to the track, don't we? It's been too long. Everything was done with a purpose and Absolutely. tried to make it as clean as possible. I'm no. I'm not like this guy, like I can't totally hand, hand that's bending that's like shit. What's most respectful is that like this you, you can do this do in your garage. Your stuff, exactly. <laughs> You know how the front suspension works on these? I kept everything except the compliance arm, the arm that reaches back to yeah. ties into the subframe area. I got rid of that and built everything forward for the um, tension rod setup. So like a regular front wheel drive car or rear wheel drive car. Underneath the front of this car, I actually used um, 8086 Corolla tension arms and all that stuff. So if you look, you can see all this down here. So this is a Corolla tension arm. Yeah, and I just built these brackets basically. So this is a Corolla sway bar, T3 tension arms, they're fully adjustable. And I built this subframe to carry everything. So engine mount to basically a manual EG rack or EK rack. And I just made tabs to mount it. And yeah, so it's actually really straightforward once you get in there. As long as you have a little bit of creativity, you can kind of like, okay, this needs to go here, this needs to go there. Right, right. The hardest part was actually getting the steering rack to line up with the knuckles. Because if you know these cars really well, you know the steering rack sits really high in the subframe yeah. and it runs through the subframe. Yep. Yep. So um, what I did was I actually cut the subframe. I cut the two ears off the subframe so I could figure out how everything like positioned. Mm -hmm. And then I just basically used that as a template and then built everything around that and then removed it. All right, it's been super fun talking to everyone about the Civic. Man, it's been so long since we built this car. I'm actually getting more excited about it talking about it because I've forgotten about all the little details that have gone into this, but reminiscing with everyone has really brought back a lot of great memories. So if you guys want to see the Civic, the SEMA show is open to the public this Friday. If you're in the Las Vegas area, stop on by, check out the car. If you're looking for the car, it'll be right here parked in the MagnaFlow booth. And if I'm here, feel free to hit me up because I want to talk about the car just as much as you want to see it. And don't forget that today's the first day to win our Civic Type R. Sweepstakes car is going to be going live today and every dollar you spend on the throttle website for merchandise or car parts is going to be an entry to win our new Civic Type R and I can tell you guys it's going to be an epic build we've already specced out all the parts and they've started rolling in and that means we're going to be getting started on that car the minute we get back from this show I'm pretty excited because I've never worked on a new Civic Type R before and I've really been a fan of them so it's going to be a fun one guys so stay tuned hit that subscribe button leave us some comments down below and we'll see you guys in the next one